this is Angus Colling, and I'm joined by Denise and Porik from the Netherlands and Ireland, and we are here to discuss Lithuania, who just picked that song with Vidas and Monica, who will be singing this time. First thoughts, do we think they're going to make it out of the semi-final this year? It's looking good. It's, it's looking good. They have a song. It's a decent song for once, for the first time I can remember. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful. Yeah. They have a yeah. song. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good well, thing. Well, you couldn't call last year's a song. <laughs> oh, true. No. I really hope they will be in the finals this year. I mean, they deserve it. It's way better than last year. They were almost in the finals, so it should be. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this song is very much what Firelight wanted to do last year, except Firewall... Firelight, we're a pile of shit, and this is like really kind of half decent. It's getting there. I can like get into the Nashville vibes, and I kind of dig it. Do we buy the chemistry, or is it just a bit wooden between the two of them? I think there is a genuine chemistry between them because just when they're singing, like it's hard, like it would be very hard to pretend to be looking that happy when they're singing. Like they just seem so into it. I, I, I think it's genuine. Yes, it absolutely is, and. <laughs> Fidus is a real gentleman and uh, and also a showman, so I don't know, you can put, I don't care, was, yeah, everybody against him and he will flirt with that person, so, yeah. I mean, he just makes and love Monica to the, also. yeah, I mean, Fidus yeah. just makes love to the camera, like, he literally, he has <laughs> that whole, like, eye connection, it's yeah. like, 200 million viewers' hearts are melting all over Europe at this Lithuania yeah. hunk. And like, yeah, Lithuania could actually make it out of their semi-final this year, which we haven't been able to say since, like, the dinosaurs were still roaming the earth. So that's a good thing, surely. Well, the year before last. Yeah. Yeah, but Andreas is terrible, so we don't talk about him. I gotta tell him something. His song was a pile of shit. But moving swiftly on, so, unfortunately... One girl did not make it out of Lithuania section. That was Mia. I feel this is kind of hard. She was the only one out of the three who's not going to Eurovision. Mm -hmm. Like, hashtag sad face for her. Yeah, and the, uh, the fact that she didn't have the option to do the duet. Because the other two did solo performances as well. So, um, I didn't find her too bad. But, like, there was a bit of, like, a people hysteria nearly in the on Facebook and on Twitter but people go, Oh no, Maya's in the lead, Maya's in the lead. And I know Sammy, um, our Finnish correspondent, was like to me, she sounds like a goat. Now <laughs> that's harsh. Um yeah, because she was winning for a long time. I don't think she was better than the other two on their own, and she definitely wasn't better than the other two as a duet. But um she wasn't awful and she was much better than Vilja last year. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I didn't like her. I don't like the, I don't like her voice. I didn't like the way she was dancing around stage. I don't know. It's nothing personal, but I, I'm not feeling it. And I think Monica and Vidas were way, way better than her. Yeah, I mean, mm. I feel a lot of this comes down to the way Eurovisuals works and that they pick the song beforehand, and this time just doesn't work as a solo song. Like, the duet sounds mm. astronomically better. It is a no, duet. No, no. Like, oh. We... <laughs> Would you just like Vidas on his own, Denise? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I prefer Vidas on his own. I version of the song and when he performed it he did something with his head and i don't know yeah i really liked it but um the duet is also really really good so yeah yeah <laughs> basically the baltic's done good tonight yeah, I know. I mean, I feel like the Baltics, almost Estonia, Lithuania, and mm -hmm. Latvia this year are emerging as like a triple threat for the competition. Mm -hmm. I mean, like they could yes. actually all qualify from their semi-final. Just one small thing. Um, when they won, I uh, they performed a song again, and I saw that they didn't kiss each other like they did in the semi-final. Oh. Uh, did they do that in? <laughs> no. no, but did they do that in the, the the normal performance before they won? Or haven't you seen it? I because I, I really like to kiss. Because if they didn't win, they didn't win, then that's quite a good controversial point to be like, so they kissed in one performance, but not the other. Is this just <laughs> for votes? So, closing controversial point, this being Super Saturday, and having had two new songs picked, both of which were duets, 
which is your favourite this time or goodbye to yesterday? Uh, Lithuania have upped their game, but it's definitely goodbye to yesterday. Denise? Yes. Goodbye to yesterday, but it's only because they are my all-time favourites from now on. And uh, Lithuania also did a great job, so they're amazing, but yeah, goodbye to yesterday is better. It's a clean sweep for goodbye to yesterday, and like I'm not even qualifying it's a much better song than this time. Like It makes this time look terrible. I mean, Goodbye to Yesterday is just so much like, it's in the stratosphere, and this time it's just kind of like still stuck on the ground, not quite getting lift off. But I mean, it could happen before Eurovision, they've got time to rearrange it and stuff. Uh, and that's pretty much all we have time for, Ari Lithuania. So thank you to Denise, and thank you to Pat Porig for your contributions. And I've been Angus, and we will all see you soon. Make sure to check out weweblogs.com and weweblogs.tv for all our latest clips, news, reviews, and attitude. Mm. Bye, Europe. Bye.